What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. First, I want to apologize for my mic. I know it sounds a little bit weird, just some background noise. I'm not sure what's going on. I think the mic itself just has actual problems. Um, so I'll probably get it replaced soon. But anyway, uh, in this video, I'm going to talk about some weird things I found with damage values in Modern Warfare 2. Um, something we haven't seen in a PC version of Call of Duty yet. It's been in COD Mobile. Um, I'm also not completely positive about it yet, but uh, super weird. And some some inconsistent damage values basically is what I was finding. Um, as always, if you guys like the content, don't forget to subscribe and like the video. Um, I do want to highlight this real quick. So on TrueGameData.com, we are doing a PS5 bundle giveaway. So this is the PlayStation 5 that I bought to play Modern Warfare 2 beta early. Um, so I'm just doing a giveaway for that. So you can go to TGD and enter that. There's some instructions on how to do it. Um, pretty simple. It's US only. Unfortunately, I know you guys wish it was open to the whole world, but um, I don't want to pay $300 for shipping to ship it somewhere else, and I don't know how worldwide giveaways work anyway. Um, I know there's some weird legal stuff going on there, so that's why I didn't do that. But um, US only, full PS5 with a controller, and um, Horizon Forbidden West. Um, so be sure to enter that if you want. I've tried to record this video like three or four times at this point, and I'm having a really hard time um, getting all my thoughts cohesively together to make a video that makes sense, uh, probably because it's 4 a.m. and I've been up all day and I'm trying to kind of make a complicated topic make sense. But anyway, basically I was testing all of the uh, damage profiles. My plan for tonight was to stay up all night and just measure damage profiles and get like the RPM and damage values up on TGD um, for Modern Warfare 2, just so you guys had that. Attachment stats are going to take forever, so... Um, don't hold your breath for that, but damage doesn't take very long to test. It never has, except in Warzone. Um, but anyway, I got through all the ARs and the battle rifles, and then I had noticed some weird things while I was doing that, so like, I've got these couple notes in here that like I confirmed these things that didn't make sense with the damage profiles. Um, but I kept going because I thought that there was just a couple things, and maybe, maybe those were just new things in this game that I needed to understand. Um, but for the most part, the damage values looked normal. Uh, and then I finally got to the SMGs. When I got to the SMGs, I don't know why this happened, but for some reason I shot the same shot location before the player healed that I was shooting um, to measure the damage values, and the damage values were inconsistent. So I shot chest shot successively before the player I was shooting healed, and I got 21 damage, 19 damage, 21, 19, 22, 20, or 18, 18, 22, 19. And that was like, ah, oh, crap. Like, immediately I was like, oh, shoot, if they've... They're sick of they're sick of us trying to find the meta and they're trying to make it way more difficult to calculate TTKs. I assumed that it was like a, a set basically array of values that like the game would just check for. So first shot on chest with an MP7 does 21. Second shot on chest with an MP7 does 19. And then that reset every time the player healed. That was my first thought. And then I realized that maybe it could be something to do with like decimal health and decimal damage values, but that didn't really make sense because I was seeing up to four damage difference on one shot location. So that was like, how could a rounding error cause four whole differences, like four whole integer difference points in damage? Like that didn't make sense to me. Um, but I was talking to some people in my chat. There's some croissant. He's a smart dude that was hanging out in my chat. And I also remembered that I had some weird issues testing at 300 health in Vanguard for, you know, a year ago or whenever that was. I couldn't remember exactly what the problem was, but I remembered I had some weird reason I couldn't test on 300 health in Vanguard. Um, so I swapped over to 100 health, thinking that maybe there was some multiplied rounding error happening at 300 health. And uh, it did clear up the values a lot, so most of them are much more consistent at 100 health, but there's definitely still um, decimal damage values going on in Modern Warfare 2. So I'll show you some of the values at 100 health. Uh, and one case that I still can't figure out, maybe one of you guys can figure it out in the comments, but... I couldn't figure out how it could be rounding error based on what I was seeing. Um, but yeah, this is the first PC console COD game that's had like decimal damage values that I, I that I know of at least. Like COD Mobile has this, but uh, on any of the console or PC games, I don't think we've ever had this. All right, real quickly, I want to show you guys just how different the values I was getting at 300 health were. So successive headshots at 300 health, 45, 42, 43, 44. Uh, 45, 43, 35, 34 for chest, 35, 33. So it was up to like three damage difference 
in multiple different places um on the mp7 i was seeing up to four damage difference in that some cases basically every single gun every shot location i checked um they were different on successive shots and it baffled me so i was doing all kinds of like combinations so i do one shot on the head and the rest on the chest to see how that played out and then i would repeat that for different combinations of stuff trying to understand what was going on um and basically decided that it has to be some sort of decimal damage and rounding error going on and, and rounding in different spots that, so the damage that's displayed on the front end is incorrect for what it actually um, should be um, but I'll go into that and try to explain that to you but I just wanted to show you how different these values were like I said they were much more consistent um, at 100 health still inconsistencies so on the mp7 I was still seeing up to like two or three damage different in some cases um, for those those successive shots on different shot locations so there's definitely still differences at 100 health um but not nearly as dramatic as what i was seeing when i had the uh, private match set to 300 health so this could have implications for warzone 2 obviously because warzone 2 is going to have uh 250 health i'm assuming it's going to be the, the base health with plate um plate health might be different in the programming though so it might not work the same way um but yeah i'll go into this a little more and show you how i think these values could come out um with that that rounding error happening all right, so first I want to try to explain how we could potentially see these big rounding errors happening at 300 health. Um, so basically what we think is happening is the limitation of the engine. I don't think they can actually set the health value of the player to 300. I think they have to multiply the damage value by something. So obviously if you're going from, if you want equivalent damage at 300 health um, as to what you had at 100 health, you would want to multiply that by one third. So 0.33. So if you take say an, a damage value of 31.2 so if it was a decimal damage value to start with and you multiplied that by 0.33 to get your 300 hp damage um basically scaled to what it would be at 100 health so this would be equivalent value at 100 health um just so we can like basically make the damage one third what it would be to match what it would be if it was actually the player at 300 health so then that means your player health since we're still at 100 health actually behind the scenes the player health would be this damage value. This is 31.2 times 0.33. Um, this would be the player's health, so 100 minus that value. And then the next shot would be that previous health minus that value. And then the next shot would be, again, that previous health minus that value. So that's what these are. And then basically what you see on the front end when I'm looking at Codcaster, um, it's just rounding those values. It doesn't want to give me a bunch of decimals. So it rounds that value. And basically it would be 90, 79, and 69. But... I selected 300 health so the game has to show me what it would look like at 300 health even though it can't actually do 300 health um so then it's going to multiply those by three to get back to the pseudo 300 health and so that's going to show me then 270 237 207 for the health values of the player after those su successive shots and that shows 30 damage 33 damage 30 damage even though they all were 31.2 they all were on the same shot location that error can be multiplied out um, if the damage value is actually multiplied by something and then there's like rounding situations that go on So that's how I think these calculated damages can come out very very different at 300 health. So basically after Understanding how that could happen. I wasn't able to exactly calculate all these numbers that I found I did tons of testing This was like two or three hours of testing and trying to understand what was going on because it was extremely confusing um, But I didn't directly calculate these but I was able to get values that were similar uh, and I don't know the actual damage values, so it's impossible to get it perfect. But I just wanted to explain how this could happen, basically. All right, so after I found out that 300 health was very wonky, I uh, switched over to 100 health, hoping that that would alleviate these rounding errors that were going on. And unfortunately, it did not. So there's still some variance in the amount of damage that's happening when you hit successive shots in the same location. And it, all it is, I'm pretty sure, is... Like I said, some sort of behind the scenes limitation of the engine and some rounding error, things like that. So we've got, um, this is what I actually measured. So with the MP7, I think this was chest shots again. So 20, 20, 21, 19 were the damage values that I found for chest shots um, in successive shots. And obviously if the player's health fills back up, that's why it basically resets every time because there's no longer that decimal error because it's just going to full exactly 100 on the dot. Um, so that's why I can only see this when I shoot successive shots. And that's also why it gets all scrambled when I shoot different shot locations. So if I shoot like one headshot and then a few, you know, leg shots or something like that, 
I will see different values than if I just shoot leg shots because the decimal value from the headshot is going to be different than it was from the leg shot. Um, and that stacks up differently and creates different numbers. But anyway, this is one situation I could not figure out. So I'll step through it now and explain why it doesn't make sense to me. And maybe someone in the comments can explain it to me. So if the damage value that I record from the health value that I can see goes up to start with. So the first shot was 20, the second shot was 20, the third shot was 21. That means that this had to be like 20.3 or 20.2. So imagine this was 20.2. And this was 20.2 again, that would be 40.4. And then the next one would be 60.6. .6. So if that was rounded, then the first two, 20.2 .2 and 40.4, .4, those would both round down to 20 and 40 respectively, which is exactly what I see. So you see 20, um, you know, 100 minus 20 is 80, 100 minus 40 is, is 60. So that's why the rounding makes sense there. And then the third one was 60.6. .6. So 60.6 .6 would be rounded up to 61. So 100 minus 61 is 39. So that makes sense. That works out. But then if you assume it's 20.2 again, let me add this over here so you guys can actually see this. All right, so I added these, this new uh, column here. This is 100 minus 20.2, and then that value minus 20.2, that value minus 20.2. And then I rounded them, rounded down, and rounded up just so you could see what those would come out to um, if they were rounded, which we know they are because uh, it's the only way this makes any sense. But um, basically, rounding is what I think is happening. So when this works out this way, going from 20, 20, 21, we would expect the next to be 20. So you'd expect the next to be going down to 19 rather than going down to 20. That's what doesn't make sense. So if you, if you round these values, you get 80, 60, 39, and then 19. Uh, and there's no combination of any actual damage value between like 19.7 and 20.5 or whatever, there's no value in there that actually makes this come out with any of these options, rounded down, rounded, rounded up. None of those options ever create these damage values or these health values for the enemy. So that's why I'm really confused. I don't fully understand it yet. Um, I think I'm just missing a step. Like I think I don't fully understand like the back end of how the damage is calculated or something. Um, also it's 4 a.m. So that's probably part of the problem, but uh, this whole thing is just really weird and it's the first time we've ever had fractional decimal damage values or health values whichever way you want to look at it um, so it's going to make ttks a little bit more difficult um, but we should be able to get very close to perfect still with the with the numbers but i just wanted to make this video to explain this to you guys and try to at least because it's a confusing topic i just spent like three hours like i said trying to figure this out and understand it but um yeah just wanted to show you that we'll see how it turns out could be a bug um, I don't know. I'll, I'll talk to people and see if it's a bug, but, uh, it is a little bit, a little bit odd, but yeah, um, we'll be covering Modern Warfare 2 the best we can. I'll get those damage profiles up ASAP. Um, to begin with, it's just going to be the first shot. So it's not going to be anything decimal related. Uh, but down the line, as we find things, um, I can add the decimals in for sure. Um, uh, but yeah, hope you guys are enjoying Modern Warfare 2 and I'll see you in the next video.